prophase one of meiosis some people or some researchers or the geneticists they also call it as prophase one of meiosis one prophase one occupies more than the 90% time of the cell cycle or of the meiosis prophase one consists of five sub stages the sub stages in prophase 1 they are leptotene zygotene pectin diplotene and diakinesis we will see in detail the sub stages of prophase 1 prophase 1 the first sub stage is leptotene then zygotene then pectin fourth one is diplotene and the fifth one is diakinesis in case of leptotene the chromosomes they are not fully condensed we can see here that chromosomes they are not fully condensed while in case of zygotene they are aligned with each other they are now they are condensed and they are aligned with each other in case of pectin the chromatids they separate from each other the chromatids of the chromosome they separate from each other while in case of diplotene the chromatids they fuse with each other these are the chiasmata which is formed during the fusion of the chromatids that belong to a homologous chromosome but they are not the sister chromatids they are called non sister chromatids while in case of diakinesis centrioles they divide and they take the position at the poles events of the prophase 1 duplicated chromosomes they align with each other and they form pairs the nucleolus disappear from the cell and centrioles they divide and they move to the opposite poles of the cell where they take the positions two other events of the prophase 1 they are the formation of the spindle fibers that emit from the centrioles and they spread within the cell and there is a removal of the nuclear membrane nuclear membrane dissolves and it disappears during prophase 1 there is a process which is called as chiasmata chiasmata is a process in which the uh, chromatids of a, a homologous chromosome which are not the sister chromatids a chromatid of one of the homology crosses with the chromatid of the second homology this process is called as chiasmata and the process is also called as crossing over or recombination event here we can see the pairing and exchange of chromosome fragments these are the homologous chromosome homology 1 is in blue color while the homology 2 is in pink color they come close to each other and as a result of crossover or as a result of chiasmata that is a formed between two homologous homologous chromosomes they exchange the fragments and parts pink color is here while the blue color is here so this process is called as exchange of fragments or the chiasmata formation or the crossing over between the non homologous chromosomes crossing over and chiasmata formation between homologous chromosome this is a pair of homologous chromosome and these are the chromatids of homologous chromosome if there is no crossover then the chromatids will be exactly like the parents here we can see that they are exactly like the parents and there is no recombination in the gametes while if there is a crossover between homologous chromosomes this is recombination and the gamete and the chromatids they will exchange the fragments here we can see that the chromatids they have changed the fragments and if there is double crossover then uh, uh, as a result of double crossover we can see that some 
of the genes or alleles they have arrived on this chromatid and the allele or the gene or the fragment of this chromosome has arrived on this chromatid so this is the process of chiasmata formation or the crossing over between the homologous chromosomes if we see in this diagram about the prophase 1 where there is a chiasmata formation chiasmata formation is here between the homologous chromosomes centrioles have been divided and they are arrived at the poles spindle fibers have been emitted from the centrioles they are scattered in the cell so this is the summary of the prophase 1 summary of the prophase 1 homologous chromosomes they align with each other and exchange the fragments nucleolus disappear nuclear membrane also disappear centrioles divide and they took the position at the poles and they emit the spindle fibers